My name is Shashir Kaitan and I'm an internist at Rockville Internal Medicine. I have been practicing here for about seven or eight years now um, and we had adopted a e-prescribing software prior to using electronic medical health records. Part of the reason why we went that way was we wanted to kind of introduce ourselves into some sort of electronic delivery of, uh, of health care and it was a great kind of stepping stone before we jumped uh, full head on into using an EHR as well. I think the biggest motivator for us to adopt a e-prescribing software like Arcopia was to save time. I probably save at least 45 minutes to an hour per day by using Arcopia. If we count that for 14, 15 other physicians, you're talking about almost two full days of physician time that is saved. This doesn't even uh, count how much staff time that's saved. And obviously the, one of the biggest things was uh, in renewing prescriptions, we saved a lot of time. We were able to check on drug-to-drug -drug interactions as well. Uh, so we've uh, reaped all of those benefits. From the patient standpoint, there are certain patients who definitely feel that they benefit greatly. For example, when a patient comes in for a sick visit and they want to have an antibiotic called into a pharmacy, we're able to do so through e-prescribing software. They don't have to wait as long, or if at all, when they get to the pharmacy. Uh, prior to using this, they would have to go to the pharmacy, drop the prescription off, and either wait at the store or come back an hour or two later. In addition, when people are using mail order prescriptions, we're able to send it directly for them so they don't have to fill out a form, uh, have us sign off on it, and then mail it to their uh, mail order pharmacy. It uh, enables them to get these prescriptions a lot faster. When I first heard about Meaningful Use, uh, I was a little skeptical. There have been similar programs in the past, and I know a lot of physicians who've signed up for these programs and some of them felt that they qualified and then later on they were told they weren't qualified. Uh, and I think the biggest push these days is to get everyone to electronic health records of some sorts. Uh, so meaningful use is kind of steering people in that direction and kind of giving them a, um, uh, a help or an aid in the upfront cost to adapt an electronic medical health record. Our group is planning on participating in the Meaningful Use Incentive Program and with our electronic health record and e-prescribing software through Dr. First, we should be able to achieve that fairly easily. When you're able to e-prescribe, you save enormous time. Uh, there is a second kind of uh, check on your prescriptions, so we can check on drug interactions. And uh, lastly, it probably saves some amount of time uh, and, and money from the staff standpoint, if we had to renew every single prescription on paper, uh, for example, I see 15 to 20 patients a day, and let's say I prescribe an average of two or three prescriptions per patient, um, for the 30 or 40 prescriptions that I am writing that day, I'm going to spend a lot of time, and we know my time is valuable, as well as the staff time, and in the end that results in cost savings even through a non-incentive program.